All right, this is a video on uh, ring end gap, uh, ring prep, and uh, cylinder prep. So first off, let me say after you get a fresh uh, cylinder back from re getting re uh this is actually a 940 Bike Man big bore, but uh, they're, they all take the same steps here. So I just got done washing this out with soapy water. Uh, that's the first step. Uh, the next step would be to uh, blow out. Sometimes they try not to, but they get uh, uh, sandblast and media stuck in the holes. And then if you try to put a bolt in, uh, that's going to cause it to strip out. So just uh, make sure that you don't have any of that left in there. And then uh, I fill a little bottle like this with two-stroke. I'll uh, move the inside of the cylinder uh, generously. smear it around really good. Uh, then I take a rag and I wipe that out of there. That just gets any leftover residue uh, that's stuck in the creases out of there. It's kind of like a double uh, safety step. So now that's all clean. Now I'll put a light film of uh, oil on the whole bore. And I'll do this so we can uh, check ring end gap and I'll show you how to do that in just a second here so first thing you want to do is take the ring uh, squeeze it into place like so and then what you do is you'll actually take the piston put it in from the back side and use it just square it up in the bore and the ring end gap is this little area between uh, these two ring ends here and then you just take a, a feeler gauge and see where you're at. So these usually don't have to be checked. So this one, five, spec is 26 to 30,000. So more than 25 so let's try 28 and then how I get to 28 is I just add two together yeah. she's right on 28 so that's perfect 26 to 30 thousandths is a spec for this motor it's usually uh, somewhere between five and a half and eight and a half thousandths per inch of cylinder bore so that's right on so now we'll check all of them for this cylinder. Once again I'll square it up again and uh, Wooster is pretty uh, consistent with the ring so chances are this one's going to be as you can see I'm trying to do this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting the feeler gauge right between those two right there. So it's 28 thousandths. I mean that's right the 26 to 30 is where you want to be to start with on one of these motors. So we're good there. Uh, next step for the rings is I take a, some fine gray scotch bright pad and what I'll do is I'll take the ring and I'll just lightly roll it on the ring and what that does is it takes the high spots off the ring coating and it leaves it more of a, a smooth mirror surface and it'll eliminate the uh, break and scratching you get in your cylinder. So, I'll do that to the two rings we just gapped. Not a lot, you don't want to take the outer coating off, but what you want to do is just smooth out the high spots. And then what I'll do is I'll start with the bottom ring, I'll put that in there like that, and I'll just go right around. So that one's on. Next one's on, and that piston's ready. Uh, cylinder's oiled up and ready. 
from there, uh, you just have to. Uh, I can kind of show you what I do with the O rings. This would be something you do later, but after it's in the motor, it's just a little step for O-rings. You can take them, get some Vaseline, lube them up like so. And what lubing them up does is make some suction into the into the the groove. Once again, I do this after it's on the sled, but just something I'm showing you quick while I got the... work it then the o-rings once they're vaseline and they're stuck in the groove when you go to set the head on uh, everything will stay in place a whole lot better this one might need a little bit more vaseline to stick it in so that eliminate pinching and whatnot of o-rings but that's uh kind of cylinder and piston prep 101 uh, next thing it would be to do is, uh, you know, put one circlip in and then uh, install it in the motor.